So guys, I'm gonna be a little vulnerable here. I don't practice every single day. And I, I'm be honest, it's not even like a, a thing of where it's like, oh, I don't wanna practice. It's just, I don't have time. I literally am either editing a video, traveling, playing, or I'm with my wife, and I'm sure you guys feel it too. So today I'm gonna show you this 15 minute practice routine that I have used to grow my ability on bass and challenge myself no matter how busy my schedule is. So before we go into the step-by-step, minute-by-minute, you know, how, how this routine works, the first thing you need to ask yourself is one, is what I'm practicing hard? Because the thing is, is that the only way you're gonna get any gains, and especially in your ability, is if you're practicing things that is hard for you to play. That's the reason why practice time is personal, it's private, it's not you know around a whole bunch of other people. That's the reason why we don't practice when we're on stage, because if we practice on stage, we're gonna have mistakes. We're not gonna be able to be as creative. That is the reason why you have practice time is because you want you have to make your mistakes. This is how you this is the place that you make your mistakes. So make sure whatever you're practicing is challenging. So now the second question you need to ask yourself is this topic or technique too big? Sometimes like theory and like licks and different things, if you're trying to learn a technique, it could just be a lot like to understand and wrap your mind around. What this technique tells you and shows you is that you wanna shriek what you are learning into something that you could just take and chip away a little piece at a time. So let's say major scale modes. Major scale modes could be a really massive topic, but you know how you get better at that? You shrink it down to one mode and learn how to use that mode in every song you play. That is how you shrink it down. You can even shrink it down, you know what, I'm gonna only gonna use this mode on the D and G string, okay? I'm only gonna use this mode on one string. Whatever small amount that you need to break it down to where it's attainable and where you can understand it and really start to put it in your plane, that is how you challenge yourself and grow. This routine is broken up into three different steps. The first step, is the warm up, which is about one minute of your 15 minutes. If you can stretch this out to a minute and a half, maybe two minutes max if you want to. So this warm up, you wanna make sure your left and right hand are being worked so they can just really be at their strongest whenever you're practicing. So now the second part of this is taking about six to seven minutes to work on something that's hard. You're just kind of getting your hands familiar. With what you're playing, whatever the pattern is, just really trying to get it under your hands. And so you, this entire time, you put a timer up for seven minutes, and you're just practicing this with the metronome, not looking at anything, you're not looking at social media. You're just going for it. Now, step number three is going to be applying what we just practiced in our first six to seven minutes, just like practicing getting it under our hands. Now we're going to apply it to a groove or a song or something like that to start getting you playing it in the moment. Loops single-handedly have helped me so much in my practicing. Like that's the reason why I give them out so much on my Instagram and I give them out here. So one tool that I've been using here recently to help me like be able to just pull up loops easily without having to like go through the fuss of like having to pull one in and having to make it copy it and paste it, loop it and all that kind of stuff. I use this pedal called the Beat Buddy. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. But basically, it's like a drum machine at your feet, and I could just control it just from my feet. So with the Beat Buddy, all I do, I have my drum loop selected, and so all I'm gonna do is just hit the button to start it. And I'm ready to go. So what's really cool too is that if I'm playing, if I want to add like a fill so it's not just so dead and dull, I can just hit the pedal once and it makes a fill. You can do it as many times as you want to. It could be short, it could be long. 
It's just really easy. And then if I want to have a B section, all I gotta do is just hold it for a couple seconds. And now I'm like at a B section of the song. And you can also run your bass through here or any instrument through here. So what I like to do is run it through and then when I'm done, just do a quick little two tap. And it ends it. So if you're interested in the Beat Buddy pedal that I use in this video, feel free to check it out in the link in the description to where you could go and pick one up today. So whenever you're gonna do this 15 minute practice time, turn your phone on airplane mode. Or if you have people in your house, family or whatever, you know, put yourself in your room, close the door, lock the door and set a timer. Take this technique and this routine and put it in your schedule so you can start growing and become the musician that you've always wanted to be. And also while doing that, check out my new merch that I just launched the end of last year. This hoodie that I've been wearing this whole time, Resting Bass Face, is one of my many pieces of merch that I have on my website. So go check it out, it's linked in the description. It's at travisdykesmusic.com. And also if you're a bass player and you need something to challenge you, check out this video right here where I give some crazy licks and techniques that will definitely get you challenged.